you can use the number line to perform operations on time measured in hours and minutes. Let's see how. Here's an analog clock. These are the hours, and these are the minutes. It takes 60 minutes to reach one hour. So if we make a number line that shows the hours and minutes, it could look something like this. Based on this number line, every large tick mark represents the hour. There are 12 pieces or partitions between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock, there are 60 minutes. Divide 60 minutes by the number of equal pieces or partitions to find how many minutes each tick mark represents. 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5. So each small tick mark is 5 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Sometimes a number line can be broken into increments other than fives. Remember that the whole for an hour is 60 minutes. Divide it by the number of equal pieces or partitions to find how many minutes each tick mark represents. This number line has four partitions between each hour. 60 divided by four is equal to 15. So each tick mark represents 15 minutes. If I start recording the video at 2 o'clock and I finish the video at 3.30, how long did it take me to make this video? Let's use this number line. 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock makes 1 hour. 3 o'clock to 3.15 makes 15 minutes. And another 15 minutes makes 30. 30 minutes. So it took 1 hour and 30 minutes to make this video. Here's a question. Joanne got home at 5.15. She started studying right away for 45 minutes. She then eats dinner for one hour and five minutes. At what time does she finish eating dinner? We want to find out what time Joanne finished eating dinner. Let's start by finding where 5.15 is on the number line. Here's the five o'clock mark. And because each tick mark represents five minutes, we can skip count by five to find 5.15. 5.05, 5.10, 5.15. At 5.15, Joanne got home. She starts studying right away for 45 minutes. So we can add on 45 minutes starting at 5.15. Let's count by fives from 5.15 to get to 45 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. We landed at 6 o'clock. Joanne then eats dinner for one hour and five minutes. One hour is the same as 60 minutes. We can count by fives from six o'clock to get to 60 minutes, or we can add an hour to six o'clock. One hour from six o'clock is seven o'clock. If we add five minutes, it becomes 7.05. Joanne finished eating dinner at 7.05. In this video, you learned how to measure time using a number line. Thanks for watching.